Welcome brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to wash and rinse yeast. Most home brewers only rinse yeast, uh, which means that you take the yeast that you find in the bottom of your fermenter and you add enough water to it to swirl it up and then pour it into different containers. Let it separate into layers and then pour off the uh, beer and whatever else you can find and uh, end up with cleaner yeast. That's the, um, the beer rinsing. Beer washing means that you're actually gonna lower the pH and kill off as many microbes as possible. So I'm gonna show you both. What we need is obviously a yeast slurry of some sort, containers to store the yeast in once it has um, been diluted with water. I'm also gonna store it in the, the final, once it has been rinsed, I'm gonna store it under wort. And uh, for that, I need some shelf stable wort, which I will show you in a different video how to make. And as well as a pressure cooker, some filtered water, and uh, that is really it. All right, let's go through how to do this. First thing you need to do is you need to have completely sterile glasses or uh, containers. So what I'm going to do is to put these glasses inside of a pressure cooker, cook them, cook them at 15 PSI for 15 minutes, and that will sterilize the glasses. So what we do here, open up. Inside here you will see just this plate and uh, then we just fill here with water. I'm using filtered water and the reason is I'm going to use this water later on to pour into the fermenter. That way we know we have completely sterile water as well. filter some more water and put it over here. So this is really more water than what we'll end up needing, but at least we will have enough. All right, next thing to do is to put the glasses inside here that are gonna be sterilized. If you have anything else that you need in your lab work, then just put that in at the same time. Here. Got so much in there that they were floating, so I'm just uh, adding some water to them to make them stand. There we go. All right. Then you put the lid on. Turn it on. And wait for the PSI to show 15, then start a timer for 15 minutes. And that's, that's part one. Okay, it's now been running for 15 minutes at 15 PSI, and it's time to turn it off. And at this point, you can take it off the heat source just to make it cool down quicker, but you don't open it up. You wanna let all the pressure dissipate and no sound uh, from here, and as well as the poppet in the back that has gone down before you open it. If you lift off the weights, it will evaporate too quickly. And uh, if you had any samples in there, they would boil out of their canisters. So just let it take its time and um, we'll come back when it's cooled down and uh, actually at room temperature because we need the water to be room temperature. 